So let's create a new Visual Studio project. So I'm going to start Visual Studio 2015, a new instance of that. And in that instance, we will be creating a fresh project from scratch and we will be going from one end to another step by step. Where what we are going to do is we are simply going to create a new project. So let me create a new project. And the project that we are going to create will be a visual C sharp project. And the type of project will be a class library. So in this, let me give it a name called being zero dot n unit dot parallel tests and let's hit enter now it will take some time to create a project for us and there we are we have a project ready and in this project what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some test cases so let me remove this default class that we have so we can right click we can delete this so let me click this delete and we permanently delete it now let's see which categories we are going to add so I'm going to add three category of test cases out of all that we had earlier so the first category of test cases that I'm going to add are home page related test cases so we'll go to home page tests so this test what it does it goes to home being zero site and on home page of this site we simply go and count the hyperlinks how many hyperlinks are there on our web page then we also count how many unique hyperlinks are there on our web page so that's how uh, we will start with home page related test then what we will do second category of test we will pick is a web tables based test and third category let's pick little uh, different variant where we are going to select something okay so let's take login based test. so these three categories of tests we are going to add so let me right click here and we will say add new item and first and foremost let's add web tables test so when we add a web tables test we want to make this class public and now we want to make this particular test case as n unit test so in order to make it n unit test we need to add reference to n unit to our project so that we can use n unit related attributes so let's right click here let's say manage nugget packages and when the screen opens we go to n unit and we hit enter and it will search for the n unit nugget package for us and this is the first one that shows here that is what we want to install because n unit 3.0.0 has support for parallel execution so let's go and hit install and this will start installation of the required dependencies so let's hit ok here and once we do that we will notice that n unit would have been added here as a reference now once we have reference to n unit added let's go back to our web table test and let's put a attribute here test fixture because n unit says a class is a test fixture so we do control dot and we hit enter and this fixture has made our class as a test class now inside this we want to have a test case added and test case is very simple we can go to http being zero dot in and we will go to selenium web tables url now on this page if we go we will figure out that it opens a web page which has a dynamic web table basically we can play with the control we can add columns and uh, add rows to the table and we can remove rows from the table so this is the page we are testing and the thing we are validating is the add row functionality is working perfectly fine you see if i click the add row button every time it adds a row same way if we select two rows and if we simply click delete row button then we see the rows uh, two rows are deleted now our goal is to test through our selenium based test that add button is working fine and delete button is working fine 